All right, guys, here's a review of the Courgier Speedmaster Homage. So, I picked this up on AliExpress quite a while ago now, actually. Just I completely forgot to actually get around to doing a review of it. So, thought I'd better sort that out, as I do really like this watch. Like I say, had it quite a while now. So, it's going to look a little bit worse for wear than some of the other ones I've done reviews on. So, just bear that in mind. I've not really got any marks or anything on the case or anything, it's more the strap. But, I'll show you that in a minute. So... Like I say, this is an homage of the Speedmaster. So, they do a few different versions of this. They do this version with the silver subdials. They also do a black version, I think that has silver subdials as well. And a black version with black subdials. But I decided to go with this one, as I thought it was something a little bit different. Speaking of those subdials, at the 3 o'clock we've got the 24 hour subdial. At the 6 we've got the ticking second hand, as this is actually a mech quartz, but I'll show you some more of that in a minute. And at the 9 o'clock we've got the minute subdial. So, like I say, this is a mech quartz, so we have actually got, if I push the top pusher, that nice sweeping, well, not completely sweeping, not high beat obviously, but it's not ticking like a quartz. Because it is a mecha quartz, so the movement in this is a VK63. So, like I say, we've got the automatic chronograph on that. So, push the stopper again, obviously, it stops, and then the other one resets it. You could probably also tell as well, we've got a dome crystal on this, so you get a nice bit of distortion, which I do really like the look of. And if you've seen a lot of my reviews before, you'll know I'm a sucker for a dome crystal. I can't get enough of them. I just love the way the light plays with them. So all the printing on this is done pretty nicely. Not a lot of either, which is good. They haven't overcluttered it. So you've just got the Corsier at the top and the chronograph on the dial. And then obviously the subdials as well. Got a printed minute track around the edge. With these subdials as well, you can probably also see. There's a nice bit of detail on them. If I can get it to focus. There we go, yeah. So you've got a nice radial design on the centre of them. With, I think it's just plain on the edge, just polished, but either way it looks good. And then obviously we've got the tachymeter on the outside on the bezel, and obviously the bezel doesn't move, it's fixed. So as for the rest of the watch, we've got no sign crown, because this is, apart from that branding on the front, a sterile all over, so nothing on the back, nothing on the crown, nothing on the buckle, but I do like that. Not overly cluttered, just keeping it simple. I would have quite liked a signed crown, but it's not too big a deal. So the other main thing with this is the strap. I've not actually seen a strap like this before in any other watch. So I just I think it's something a little bit different. I do like it. The denim kind of look. Like I say, yours won't be this battered. I've been wearing it quite a bit, so it's beginning to fray slightly in a couple of bits. But other than that, it's holding together pretty well. But if you don't like it, you can always swap it out anyway. Obviously. But I think it suits the watch pretty well. And obviously with the black one, you'll be getting a black strap. But again, with the same kind of denim look. But let's get on to the measurements then. So we've got a thickness of about 12 and a half, With a diameter of about 41, just under. And a lug to lug of about 47. So with it having that domed crystal, it's probably not going to be sapphire, as I think I only paid about £45, £50 for this. I'll leave a link in the description if you do want to pick one up, but let's find out if it does actually have sapphire crystal using the trusty diamond selector 2. So as you can see, no, we haven't got sapphire crystal on this, but like I say, that's to be expected really. 
considering it's got the domed crystal and the price it, it was pretty unlikely to have sapphire it tends to be on the more expensive watches as it is pretty expensive and given the price of this watch it's just not likely i'm still happy with it i do like it if you don't mind having an homage i definitely recommend picking this one up and also there's one other little bonus as well which i wasn't actually expecting when i got this watch i'll quickly show you now As you can see, the loom on the dial isn't fantastic. It doesn't really last very long either. But the loom on the hands is actually surprisingly good. It lasts a decent amount of time. Nothing fantastic, but for this kind of price of watch, I was actually pleasantly surprised. So all that's left to do now is to show it you on wrist. So this is what it looks like on my seven inch wrist. Like I say, it does look really good, wears nicely. I do really like this strap. And I think it goes well with the watch as well. Like I say, if you get the black one, that comes with the black one, obviously. But also the denim kind of style. So that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.